Hi everyone, it's Hannah from Down in the Children's Department. So you might remember in mid-spring, I took a video inside my greenhouse showing you all the plants I was getting started for the growing season. Well now that it's September, I wanted to give you all a quick little tour of some of those plants and what all I've been doing. So first up on my tour is this crazy tomato bed. I was a little over ambitious and planted way too many in one small little space. So I have two different varieties in this bed. One is this really cool cherry tomato variety. So you see how they're like purple, almost black? They still turn red and they're ripe and ready to eat, but they just have this beautiful coloring to them. They're called blueberry cherry tomatoes. And next to those, I have what is a traditional Italian paste tomato. So these are called San Marzano. These oblong, fleshy, meaning there's not a lot of water. It's mostly the flesh of the tomato. They're really great for making your own um, pasta sauce or pizza sauce, tomato sauce, tomato soup. Really good for cooking them down. So this is a little crazy because I have way too many, but it's been really fun and I've made several batches of tomato paste and sauce and it's been fun, but I'm, I'm tired of the tomatoes. So you might have remembered in my video inside the greenhouse that I had kind of a lot of flowers going and I just said, oh, I really like flowers. Well, I was kind of trying to keep that on the down low because my partner Connor and I were in the beginning of starting what you see behind me, which is our flower farm. This is what we've been doing the last six months and I just want to show you all some of these flowers a little bit more in depth. So right out the gate, literally, I have cinnamon basil. This is what I use as a filler in bouquets and arrangements. And if you look here at the actual plant, it looks just like regular basil that you would eat to make pesto and use in Italian cooking, all that, except it has these beautiful purple flowers and this really nice cinnamon scent. It's just really nice to use in arrangements. Right behind it and next to it are one of my favorite flowers of all time, zinnias. They come in a whole spectrum of colors and different shapes and types and varieties. My personal favorite though are these right here. Queen lime zinnias. See how they're green but they have a pink accent? They're just, I think they're beautiful and perfect. But I have all sorts of colors, pinks, reds, yellows, whites, greens. This is broom corn. So it is a member of the millet sorghum family that grows like corn, looks like corn, but it creates these beautiful sprays here. <laughs> <laughs> that are these beautiful like fall colors and grainy. I use these a lot in um, dried arrangements and fall arrangements just because they look so fall-like. Might as well cut that one off. And then following over, I have a couple different varieties of celosia. So here, I have this nice, pretty yellow plume celosia. And right next to it, back here, I have some coxcomb. Do you see how that looks like a brain or even a coral reef? It is so cool. And my all time, all time, I swear this is the last time I'll say it, favorite flower, is this right here. Lysianthus, commonly known as prairie rose. It's delicate, it looks like a rose, but these guys are so hardy. They can go through a drought, they can, well, they can kind of go through a rainstorm, but they're better with the heat. This one is called balloon flower. So if you come in close and look at these, they look like balloons. 
And when they are mature and they open up, they look like these, these perfect purple stars. Their first year, they're kind of low to the ground and not as tall as I would like them. But because they are a perennial, they will survive our winter and next year I won't have to plant them because they'll already be here. Last but not least is another kind of little fun thing I wanted to show you, which is this crazy pumpkin takeover. We thought it would be fun just to see what happens and plant. I think I only did four pumpkin plants in here and it has taken over this entire space. So, not the best growing practices, but oh well, it's fun, it looks cool, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I've been doing. See you next time.